Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to Office 365 Concepts. In the last video, we discussed what is Office 365 message encryption. We discussed how to enable Office 365 message encryption and how to use it to send encrypted emails. In this particular video, I will be showing you how to customize the encrypted emails. I will show you practically how you can add your company logo within the encrypted email, how to add a custom text within the email, or how you can add a disclaimer within the encrypted email. If you look at the standard encrypted email, it looks like this. This is a standard encrypted email that is received by one of the recipients. But we can customize the entire email as per our requirement. We can add image or we can add a company logo within the email. We can add a custom text that will show next to the sender's email address. We can change background color of the read the message button and the company logo. We can change the email text and we can add a disclaimer as well. And this customization is possible using PowerShell commands. So let me show you step by step how you can customize the encrypted email. If you want to check the default settings or the attributes of IRM configuration, for that you can run get hyphen OME configuration pipe FL. This will list all the attributes of Office 365 message encryption configuration. Here you can see image attribute that can be used to set a particular image within the encrypted email. You can change the email text. You can add a text for the portal for the encryption portal. You can add text for the disclaimer as well. You can change the background color. Even you can change the text for the read button as well. So let me show you one by one how you can achieve this. So first, let me show you a standard email. This is a standard email. No customization is done in this particular email. So we are going to change the layout of the encrypted emails. Those will be sent from our tenant to the external users. So let's go back to PowerShell. And first, let me show you how you can add an image or company logo within the encrypted email. I have one image here and I'm going to use this image as a company logo. So let's go to PowerShell and we will run set hyphen OME configuration hyphen identity. For identity, we will use the default name of the OME configuration, which is get hyphen OME configuration. You can find it from here. This is the name of this template. So we are going to use this as an identity. We will use switch image. And here we will specify the path of the image. Get hyphen content. And this file is located in C drive. encoding byte close this press enter yes to all that's it now let's go back to owa and let's send an encrypted email to external user Let's use encrypt template, click send. So this user has received the email. And if you check here, now this logo is showing within the email. So this is how you can add a company logo or an image within the encrypted email that your users are sending to the recipients. In the same way, you can make other customization as well. For example, you can add a disclaimer text. And for that, you will run set hyphen OME configuration hyphen identity 
within identity you will use the default name of this template and then you will use a switch disclaimer text and here you can type a text for example please prove your identity to read this email press enter yes to all and let's go back to the email compose email send this email to a user and let's add a template and click send so let's open this email now and here you can see the disclaimer text that we just mentioned in powershell this one please prove your identity to read this email and same you can see here please prove your identity to read this email so let me show you how you can change the background color of read the message button and the background color of this image for that you will run set hyphen ome configuration hyphen identity and identity will be ome configuration and here you will use a switch background color now here you need to mention a code for the background color you can search in google there is a microsoft article published for these colors i'll share the link for the article in the comment section as well you can go through that so i'm using a color code here press enter yes to all let's test this behavior again let's send one more encrypted email to this user send let's go to the mailbox of the user so let's open this email and now you can see the background color has been changed for the image as well and for the read the message button so this is how you can customize the encrypted email that your users are sending outside the organization apart from that you can make changes like you can add email text which will reflect next to your email address and you can add introduction text as well so let me show you how you can do that for that you can run set hyphen ome configuration you can copy this again and then you will use switch email text and text will be this is encrypted email and we will change the introduction text as well this is an encrypted email encrypted by ome like this yes to all let's test it one more time use the template test five let's go to the mailbox so let's open this email now here you can see it says this is an encrypted email encrypted by ome and this is the email text this is encrypted email that we just mentioned within the powershell command now one last thing that i want to show you how to change the text of read the message button and for that let's copy this command till here and then use read button text let's give it a name open the email right now it says read the message so let's change it to open the email yes to all and let's test it again
send. Let's go to the mailbox. So let's open this email. And here you can see the text is changed to open the email. So this is how you can customize or modify the encrypted emails that your users are going to send from your organization to the external users. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.